So we're back in the garage. We thought we'd try out this soda blaster that we saw on the internet. I think it was on the Air Cooled Tech Volkswagen uh, technical website, do it yourself sort of website. Uh, Trent found instructions on there for making a soda blaster, very simple, using baking soda where you might otherwise uh, use sand blasting or shot blasting. Now I've got here my very dirty brake caliper bracket off the back of my bike. As you can see, lots of accumulated muck and I guess corrosion, a lot of brake dust as well. And if I just turn it around, that's the result we got with the soda blaster. So we'll now show you how you make the soda blaster and how it works. So I've got my lovely assistant Pete here. So that's a duster gun that goes on an air compressor. That's the little wand I suppose you'd call it or probe and just you know, two inches back from the nozzle we've cut a slot inserted the, the wand in there probe whatever you want to call it taped it on that goes into our bulk five kilogram tub of baking soda we've cut the end of the hose at a bit of an angle just so that it draws in some air rather than trying to draw up solid lumps and that hooks onto an air compressor so you need a duster gun you need an air compressor a bit of hose and get the baking soda in bulk because it's cheap as Let's go outside and give it a run. I'm going to come round and regulate the baking soda flow. Which way is the wind blowing? Oh, that way. So there we go, there's the result we showed you before. That's the side that the world is going to see. That's the side that faces outwards on the bike. This is the side that faces inwards. You can still see, still a bit of really ingrained muck there. I think if we refine this gadget a bit more, we might be able to get rid of that sort of stuff. But I'm happy with that because you're not going to be able to see that and it's going to get dirty again relatively quickly. Just to give a bit more explanation of how the gun works, it uses the Venturi effect or Venturi principle. We've cut a slot in the top of the hose there, inserted the duster gun lance in there, taped it all up so that as the high pressure air rushes out of the duster gun, it basically creates low pressure and air rushes up the hose to try and fill that area of low pressure. As it rushes up the hose, it, uh, it, it draws up the powder with it. It was a little bit clunky to use, it sort of stopped and started, but fairly simple really and I'm sure it could be refined and you could maybe even recapture the baking soda and use it again. So overall I'm really happy with that result, I'm going to be quite comfortable putting that back on my newly powder coated swing arm. The materials probably cost about 15 quid all up if you count all the baking soda, the hose, the gun, and I've used about a third of the baking soda that's there which is five kilos. I'm sure that if I refine this setup a bit more I could use a lot less so that's really good. I'm very happy with that. I hope someone gets some use out of this setup and thanks to the Air Cool Tech website for the idea.